Peter Wainer served uh, in the Reagan and George H.W. Bush administrations. He uh, also serves as Deputy Director of Speech Writing for uh, President George W. Bush, later up he headed the Office of Strategic Initiatives. He's currently a senior fellow at the Ethics and Public Policy Center. And just a general all-around nice guy. Thank you for being with us, well, Peter. Don't accuse it, him of that, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pleasure to be with you. I've been accused of worse things, Jerry. Thanks uh, for having me on. Yes, <laughs> very nice guy. And i uh, been looking forward to talking with you on this. We always uh, follow what you say uh, very closely. And uh, we've been talking about this George Will column. I understand he was interviewed uh, uh, today, I, I, I don't know whether anything new came out of uh, all of that or not. Uh, and of course, I think it's I think it's significant because it's coming from the right, and uh, there's all there's 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 this this bubbling up of criticism on the left that I've been talking about. Jerry and I've been talking about on this show for weeks and weeks. It's coming, folks. It's coming, right. and now it's there. And the president has just called it a um, a. Um, a war of a necessity. Right. So uh, he's he's uh, he's got it uh, coming from both sides uh, now. He's about to get a, a request. It looks like for uh, additional troops. And lo and behold, uh, here comes uh, here comes Will out of right field. What do you? Uh, what's your uh, what's your assessment of all of that? And uh, what what is your answer uh, to Will's criticism? Yeah, those are those are good uh, questions and a good summary, I think, of of the state of things. Um, in, in terms of generally with Afghanistan, I absolutely agree. I think that uh, President Obama is in a precarious position. Uh, the left does not like this war. They liked it uh, when George Bush was president because they used it as a stick against Iraq, and that mm. was a means to get us out of Iraq. Mm. But uh, they were never uh, in favor of it, uh, for I think some, some deep reasons we can go into. But uh, but now they're very public in their opposition. The public generally uh, is turning against the war because it's not going well. And my concern is that people on the right uh, are going to turn against it, uh, in part because Obama is now president, and that uh, and that concerns me. George Will is a serious man. He's got a big megaphone. He's respected among conservatives, and for him to make the argument that he uh, did yesterday, which is essentially that uh, that we ought to go offshore and use cruise missiles and airstrikes, which I think is just a ridiculous proposal. I think that was a significant um, moment. I, I hope that he is uh, he's sui generis, and I hope that other conservatives don't uh, don't follow suit. This is a war um, that we have to win. It's vital to the country. A lot of times, wars aren't easy. Um, if you think they're easy, you shouldn't support them at the outset. And I think one of the things that troubled me and what I did in my um, column on Will was I just recapitulated his record uh, over the years on both Iraq and yeah. Afghanistan. And I, just I was surprised it, he didn't acknowledge that in his column, that he'd had a change of mind or heart on this. Well, you know, that was one of the things that, that, that troubled me. And I should say I'm, I'm a fan of his. And I must well, say too. that George Will was a very influential person in my own journey to conservatism. I still remember mm -hmm. a book he wrote, Statecraft to Soulcraft, back yeah, absolutely. in the 19, absolutely. 1980s. And, and I admire him, and in many ways I like him. Having, having said that, um, I agree with you. If uh, if you have had a change like he has had on both Iraq and Afghanistan, and you're a public figure and a public voice, I think you owe it to people to say that you've changed your mind and to explain why you haven't. Will has written, particularly on Iraq over the years, as if he had always been opposed to the war. And in fact, if you go back to 2002 in the run-up to the war, you know, he was more pro-war than virtually anybody that, that I know. He made his arguments very ably and very articulate fashion, but I agree with you. I, I And it would be, frankly, an interesting column for him it, to try and explain yeah, what yeah, it the is journey that, was, that he took. But be that as it may, what about the main points of uh, his uh, his position? I take it the bottom line is that he doesn't think we can win under these circumstances. Well, that's right. That's right. I think that if you, if you uh, it just depends on what your premise is. If you think that this war is, is lost and can't be won, then you should probably leave. I'm not at that position. I know that David Petraeus isn't at this position. We're at the early stages of a new strategy that Petraeus and Stan McChrystal, who's the new American commander in Afghanistan, is putting into place. And I think we're seeing in Afghanistan what we saw in 
Iraq, which is a lot of critics of the war declare that the surge uh, was, couldn't work and wasn't working. And in fact, uh, it, uh, it did work. And the question is whether we can replicate some version of that in Afghanistan. I'm not sure we can do it, but I'm sure that the stakes are high enough that we better give it a fair chance. And McChrystal and Petraeus haven't had a, had a chance yet. Why do you think of, of those of us who think the, uh, from, from a conservative standpoint who say, look, we, we agree with you what you say about this war, but we don't think in the end Obama or this administration will do what's necessary uh, to win, so therefore we shouldn't sacrifice any more in its pursuit. Well, I think it's a legitimate concern, but I think that before we pull the plug on Afghanistan, we have to test that proposition. And I must say, and as you know, I've been a fairly fierce critic of Obama on a number of fronts. On Afghanistan, I think for the most part, he's done pretty well. But he's going to face a moment here when Stan McChrystal asks for more troops to make this thing work. And Obama is going to face a lot of resistance to it. And we'll see if he has a spine of steel like George W. Bush did. Um, I suspect he doesn't. Um, but I hope that he does, and I hope he, he screws up the courage that he's going to need to, to see this through to uh, to completion. Uh, and he's going to have to go before the American people the way he does every 45 minutes on some of his pet issues uh, and explain why we need to be there. Amen, brother. You are absolutely right. If I wish he would spend you know half as uh, much time on health care and as he does, and we, more uh, on. We got to go, Peter. Thank read, you so uh, much. Read Peter's work at FredThompsonShow.com. Thank you so much.